Hello. Last week I spoke to you about Brexit, its implications for Jersey and the government's preparations for it. Brexit is, of course, an important external challenge facing Jersey, but it is by no means our only external focus. So today I want to talk to you about a number of other initiatives we've undertaken on the world stage and Jersey's emerging international identity. So this week, the UK Foreign Secretary formally wrote to notify the World Trade Organisation that the UK's WTO membership will be extended to Jersey. This has been a goal of successive governments for the last 20 years, and it's a huge step forward in Jersey's ability to develop our own trade policy. It will ensure that local companies will have access to global rules and protections when trading in goods, services and intellectual property, with all WTO members, which includes EU member states and the majority of countries worldwide. And I really want to thank everyone who's worked towards this goal, from across government, particularly our teams from external relations, financial services and digital economy. Their hard work will give Jersey companies as much security and as many opportunities as possible, whatever the outcome of Brexit. If you'd like to share your views on our developing trade priorities, you can click the link in the description and contribute to our Let's Talk Trade consultation. For Jersey's digital infrastructure is increasingly connecting our island to all parts of the globe, making it easier to do business and cooperate with others externally and overseas. This year's annual ranking of worldwide broadband speeds by Cable and MLab puts Jersey in third place globally. We have the best broadband in Europe and we are the first jurisdiction in the world to ensure pure fibre is available to all broadband users. We are determined to keep our lead in this vital area as we expand our lo local digital sector, making Jersey a connected, safe and accessible place to do business. So this government has built on our island's existing relationships with both established and emerging economies around the globe. Last week we welcomed a delegation from the US Embassy in London and Select U USA who came to the island to discuss opportunities for local entrepreneurs and businesses. And this week I'm really pleased to say that Jersey Finance have opened a North American office in New York City. Next month I'll be representing the island in China and where Jersey products have proved popular with Chinese consumers and local schools have developed close ties to their Chinese counterparts. Beyond the world's two largest economies, Jersey has continued to develop its ties to developing countries, particularly in Africa. Jersey already provides a conduit for between 0.5 and 1.5% of all foreign direct investment into Africa, and we are keen to develop our ties to this region. We've done this with the government of Kenya, where we've already signed agreements to help tackle financial crime. Together, these initiatives form part of what we call our global market strategy. This strategy aims to position Jersey as a more influential partner internationally with maturing commercial and political relationships. Closer to home, we've continued to engage with the UK government and our immediate neighbours, both through negotiations and bilateral visits and through the British Irish Council. We fostered close links to our sister island Guernsey and founded the Channel Islands Political Oversight Board which has begun to expand inter-island cooperation. And finally, we propose to increase our spending on international development through Jersey, Jersey Overseas Aid. This is the first Council of Ministers to have a dedicated Minister for International Development and the government plan calls for JOA funding to be steadily increased. We're doing this not only because it, on, it, it enhances our image abroad or because investment in this area has been slipping in recent years, but because it is the right thing to do. Within living memory, our island needed overseas aid to survive the occupation and to give back to the global community by helping those most in need is a fitting tribute to the crew of the SS Vega who 75 years ago brought much needed relief to Jersey in the winter of 1944. If you'd like to find out more about our global market strategy or the work of Jersey Overseas Aid, 
You can click the links in the description below. Thanks for listening.